The Pallava dynasty was a South Indian dynasty that existed from 275 CE to 897 CE, ruling a portion of southern India. They gained prominence after the eclipse of the Satavahana dynasty, whom the Pallavas served as feudatories. Pallavas became a major power during the reign of Mahendravarma I CE and Narasimhavarma I CE and dominated the Telugu and northern parts of the Tamil region for about 600 years until the end of the 9th century. Throughout their reign they were in constant conflict with both Shalukas of Badami in the north and the Tamil kingdoms of Chola and Pandyas in the south and were finally defeated by the Chola kings in the 9th century CE. Pallavas are most noted for their patronage of architecture, the finest example being the Shore Temple, a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Mahabalipuram. The Pallavas, who left behind magnificent sculptures and temples, established the foundations of medieval South Indian architecture. They developed the Pallava script from which Grantha ultimately descended. The Pallava script gave rise to several other Southeast Asian scripts. Chinese traveller Xuanzang visited Kanchipuram during Pallava rule and extolled their benign rule. Origins <inaudible> 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 Usangam period classic, Manamekalai, attributes the origin of the first Pallava king from a liaison between the daughter of a Naga king of Manapallava named Pilivalai with a Chola king, Kilivalavan, out of which union was born a prince, who was lost in shipwreck and found with a twig of Cephalandra Indica around his ankle and hence named Tondai Man. Another version states that, Pallava was born from the union of the Brahmin Ashvathama with a Naga princess also supposedly supported in the sixth verse of the Bahor plates which states, "...from Ashvathama was born the king named Pallava." The Pallavas themselves claim to descend from Brahma and Ashvathama. Though Manamekalai posits Ilam Tyrian as a Chola, not a Pallava, the Velarpalayam plates dated to 852, do not mention the Cholas. Instead, they credit the Naga liaison episode, and creation of the Pallava line, to a different Pallava king named Virakircha, while preserving its legitimizing significance less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 from him Asvathaman in order came Pallava, the lord of the whole earth, whose fame was bewildering. Thence, came into existence the race of Pallavas, including the son of Chutapallava Virakircha, of celebrated name, who simultaneously with the hand of the daughter of the chief of serpents grasped also the complete insignia of royalty and became famous. Historically, early relations between Nagas and Pallavas became well established before the myth of Pallavas' birth to Ashvathama took root. A prashasti literally, praise. Composed in 753 on the dynastic eulogy in the Kasakadi plates, by the Pallava Travikrama, traces the Pallava lineage from creation through a series of mythic progenitors, and then praises the dynasty in terms of two similes hinged together by triple use of the word avatara, descent, as below, from them descended the powerful, spotless Pallava dynasty Vamsavatara, which resembled a partial incarnation of Vishnu, as it displayed unbroken courage in conquering the circle of the world. Dot and which resembled the descent of the Ganges Gangavatara as it purified the whole world. The proceedings of the first annual conference of South Indian History Congress also notes, the word Tandai means a creeper and the term Pallava conveys a similar meaning. Since the Pallavas ruled in the territory extending from Bellary to Beswada, it led to the theory that they were a northern dynasty who contracted marriages with princesses of the Andhra dynasty and so inherited a portion of southern Andhra Pradesh. Historian K. R. Subramanian says the Pallavas were originally a Telugu power rather than a Tamil one. Telugu sources know of a Trilochana Pallava as the earliest Telugu king and they are confirmed by later inscriptions. The first Chalukya king is said to have been met, repulsed and killed by the same Trilochana near Mudavemu Kudapa district. A Buddhist story describes Kala the Nagaraja, resembling the Pallava Kalabhartar as a king of the region near Krishna district. The Pallava Bhaga may be identified with the kingdom of Kala in Andhra which had close and early maritime and cultural relations with Ceylon, K. A. Nilakanta Sastri postulated that Pallavas were descendants of a North Indian dynasty who moved southwards, adopted local traditions to their own use, and named themselves as Tandayar after the land called Tandai. K. P. Jayaswal also proposed a North Indian origin, putting forward the theory that the Pallavas were a branch of the Vakatakas. 
The earliest inscriptions of the Pallavas were found in the districts of Bellary, Gunter and Neller and all the inscriptions of the dynasty till the rise of Simhavishnu were found in the latter two of those. Rivalries With Cholas The Pallavas captured Kanchi from the Cholas as recorded in the Velarpalayam plates, around the reign of the fifth king of the Pallava line Kumaravishnu I. Thereafter Kanchi figures in inscriptions as the capital of the Pallavas. The Cholas drove the Pallavas away from Kanchi in the mid-4th century, in the reign of Vishugopa, the tenth king of the Pallava line. The Pallavas re-captured Kanchi in the mid-6th century, possibly in the reign of Simhavishnu, the fourteenth king of the Pallava line, whom the Kasakudi plates state as the Lion of the Earth. Thereafter the Pallavas held on to Kanchi until the 9th century, until the reign of their last king, Vijaya Enripatungavarman. With Kadambas The Pallavas were in conflict with major kingdoms at various periods of time. A contest for political supremacy existed between the early Pallavas and the Kadambas. Numerous Kadamba inscriptions provide details of Pallava Kadamba hostilities. Kadamba dynasty's founder Myrasharma first succeeded in establishing himself in the forests of Sriparvata, possibly modern Sirisailam in Andhra Pradesh, by defeating the Antharapalas guards of the Pallavas and subduing the Banas of Kolar in 345 CE. The Pallavas under Skandavarman were unable to contain Myrasharma and recognized him as a sovereign in the regions from the Amara Ocean, Western Ocean to Prihara Malaprabha River. Some historians feel that Myrasharma was initially appointed as a commander in the army of the Pallavas, as the inscription uses such terms as Sanani and calls Myrasharma Shatanana six-faced god of war. After a period of time, due to the confusion caused by the defeat of Pallava Vishnugopa by Samudragupta Allahabad inscriptions, Myrasharma formed his kingdom with Banavasi near Talagunda as his capital. <laughs> with Calabras During the reign of Vishnugopavarman II approximately 500 to 525, political convulsion engulfed the Pallavas due to the Calabra invasion of the Tamil country. Towards the close of the 6th century, the Pallava Simhavishnu stuck a blow against the Calabras. The Pandyas followed suit. Thereafter the Tamil country was divided between the Pallavas in the north with Kanchipuram as their capital, and Pandyas in the south with Madurai as their capital. Barudas The royal custom of using a series of descriptive honorific titles, Barudas, was particularly prevalent among the Pallavas. The Barudas of Mahendravarman I are in Sanskrit, Tamil and Telugu. The Telugu Barudas show Mahendravarman's involvement with the Andhra region continued to be strong at the time he was creating his cave temples in the Tamil region. The suffix, Mala, was used by the Pallava rulers. Mahendravarman I used the Baruta, Satramala, a warrior who overthrows his enemies, and his grandson Paramasvara I was called Ekamala, the sole warrior or wrestler. Pallava kings, presumably exalted ones, were known by the title Mahamala, great wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> Languages used All early Pallava royal inscriptions were either in Sanskrit or Prakrit, considered the official languages of the dynasty while the official scripts were Pallava and later Grantha. Similarly, inscriptions found in Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka state are in Sanskrit and Prakrit. The phenomenon of using Prakrit as official languages in which rulers left their inscriptions and epigraphies continued till the 6th century. It would have been in the interest of the ruling elite to protect their privileges by perpetuating their hegemony of Prakrit in order to exclude the common people from sharing power Mahadevan 1995a, 173-188. The Pallavas in their Tamil country used Tamil and Sanskrit in their inscriptions. Tamil came to be the main language used by the Pallavas in their inscriptions, though a few records continued to be in Sanskrit. 
This language was first adopted by Mahendravarman I himself in a few records of his, but from the time of Paramasvaravarman I, the practice came into vogue of inscribing a part of the record in Sanskrit and the rest in Tamil. Almost all the copper plate records, viz., Kasakuti, Tandantatam, Patatamingam, Udayendaram and Velarpalayam are composed both in Sanskrit and Tamil. Writing system Under the Pallava dynasty, a unique form of Grantha script, a descendant of Pallava script which is a type of Brahmic script, was used. Around the 6th century, it was exported eastwards and influenced the genesis of almost all Southeast Asian scripts. Religion Pallavas were followers of Hinduism and made gifts of land to gods and Brahmins. In line with the prevalent customs, some of the rulers performed the Aswamedha and other Vedic sacrifices. They were, however, tolerant of other faiths. The Chinese monk Xuanzang who visited Kanchipuram during the reign of Narasimhavarman I reported that there were 100 Buddhist monasteries, and 80 temples in Kanchipuram. Pallava architecture The Pallavas were instrumental in the transition from rock-cut architecture to stone temples. The earliest examples of Pallava constructions are rock-cut temples dating from 610 to 690 and structural temples between 690 to 900. A number of rock-cut cave temples bear the inscription of the Pallava king, Mahendravarman I and his successors. Among the accomplishments of the Pallava architecture are the rock-cut temples at Mahabalipuram. There are excavated pillared halls and monolithic shrines known as Rathas in Mahabalipuram. Early temples were mostly dedicated to Shiva. The Kailasanatha temple in Kanchipuram and the Shore temple built by Narasimhavarman II, rock-cut temple in Mahendravadi by Mahendravarman are fine examples of the Pallava-style temples. The temple of Nalanda Gedig in Kandy, Sri Lanka is another. The famous Tandaswaram temple of Tenavarai and the ancient Kaneswaram temple of Trincomalee were patronized and structurally developed by the Pallavas in the 7th century. Pallava society The Pallava period beginning with Simhavishnu was a transitional stage in southern Indian society with monument building, foundation of devotional bhakti sects of Alvars and Nayanars, the flowering of rural Brahmanical institutions of Sanskrit learning, and the establishment of Chakravartin model of kingship over a territory of diverse people, which ended the pre-Pallavan era of territorially segmented people, each with their culture, under a tribal chieftain. While a system of ranked relationship among groups existed in the classical period, the Pallava period extolled ranked relationships based on ritual purity as enjoined by the Shastras. Burton distinguishes between the Chakravatan model and the Kshatriya model, and likens Kshatriyas to locally based warriors with ritual status sufficiently high enough to share with Brahmins, and states that in South India the Kshatriya model did not emerge. As per Burton, South India was aware of the Indo-Aryan Varna organised society in which decisive secular authority was vested in the Kshatriyas, but apart from the Pallava, Chola and Vijayanagar line of warriors which claimed Chakravartan status, only few locality warrior families achieved the prestigious kin-linked organisation of northern warrior groups. <laughs> Chronology. Topic: Sastri chronology. The earliest documentation on the Pallavas is the three copper plate grants, now referred to as the Maidavolu, Hyarhadagali, and the British Museum plates, Durga Prasad, 1988, belonging to Skandavarman I and written in Prakrit. Skandavarman appears to have been the first great ruler of the early Pallavas, though there are references to other early Pallavas who were probably predecessors of Skandavarman. Skandavarman extended his dominions from the Krishna in the north to the Penar in the south and to the Bellary district in the west. He performed the Aswamedha and other Vedic sacrifices and bore the title of Supreme King of Kings devoted to Dharma. 
The Hirahadagali copper plate Bellary district record in Prakrit is dated in the 8th year of Sivaskanda Varman to 283 CE and confirms the gift made by his father who is described merely as Bapa Deva revered father or Bapa. It will thus be clear that this dynasty of the Prakrit charters beginning with Bapa Deva were the historical founders of the Pallava dominion in South India. The Hirahadagali plates were found in Hirahadagali, Bellary district, and is one of the earliest copper plates in Karnataka and belongs to the reign of early Pallava ruler Shivaskandavarma. Pallava king Sivaskandavarman of Kanchi of the early Pallavas ruled from 275 to 300 CE, and issued the charter in 283 CE in the eighth year of his reign. Vijaya Skandavarman was king of the Pallava kingdom at Bellary region in Andhra, and viceroy of Samudragupta at Kanchipuram. The writer of the grant was Privy Councillor Bhadi Sharman and was supposed to be valid for 100,000 years. As per the Hirahadagali plates of 283 CE, Pallava king Sivaskandavarman granted an immunity vis the garden of Chilarakakodumka, which was formerly given by Lord Bapa to the Brahmins, freeholders of Chilarakakodumka and inhabitants of Apiti. Chilarakakodumka has been identified by some as ancient village Chilarige in Bellary, Karnataka, in the reign of Simivarman IV, who ascended the throne in 436. The territories lost to the Vishnukundans in the north up to the mouth of the Krishna were recovered. The early Pallava history from this period onwards is furnished by a dozen or so copper plate grants in Sanskrit. They are all dated in the regnal years of the kings. The following chronology was composed from these charters by Nilakanta Sastri in his A History of South India. <laughs> Early Pallavas Simavarman I Skandavarman unknown. Visnugopa 350 Kumaravishnu I Skandavarman II, 370 to 385. Viravarman, 385 to 400. Skandavarman III, 400 to 436. Simavarman II, 436 to 460. Skandavarman IV, 460 to 480. Nandivarman the First, 480 to 510. Kumaravishnu II, 510 to 530. Budavarman 530 to 540 Kumaravishnu 3 540 to 550 Simavarman 3 550 to 560 Topic Later Pallavas The incursion of the Calabras and the confusion in the Tamil country was broken by the Pandya Kadungan and the Pallava Simhavishnu Mahendravarman I extended the Pallava kingdom and was one of the greatest sovereigns. Some of the most ornate monuments and temples in southern India, carved out of solid rock, were introduced under his rule. He also wrote the play Matavilaza Prahasana. The Pallava kingdom began to gain both in territory and influence and were a regional power by the end of the 6th century, defeating kings of Ceylon and mainland Tamilakam. Narasimhavarman I and Paramasvaravarman I stand out for their achievements in both military and architectural spheres. Narasimhavarman II built the Shore Temple. Simhavishnu 575 to 600. Mahendravarman I 600 to 630. Narasimhavarman I Mamala 630 to 668. Mahendravarman II, 668 to 672. Paramasvaravarman the first, 670 to 695. Narasimhavarman the second, Raja Simha, 695 to 722. Paramasvaravarman the second, 705 to 710. Topic: Later Pallavas of the Kadava line. The kings that came after Paramasvaravarman II belonged to the collateral line of Pallavas and were descendants of Bhimavarman, the brother of Simhavishnu. They called themselves as Kadavas, Kadavesa and Kadaveti. Hiraniavarman, the father of Nandivarman Pallavamala is said to have belonged to the Kadavakula in epigraphs. Nandivarman II himself is described as, "...one who was born to raise the prestige of the Kadava family." 
Nandivarman II, Palavamala, 732 to 796, son of Haranyavarman of Kadavakula. Dantavarman, 795 to 846. Nandivarman III, 846 to 869. Aparahitavarman, 879 to 897. Topic: Iyengar chronology. According to the available inscriptions of the Pallavas, historian S. Krishnaswamy Iyengar proposes the Pallavas could be divided into four separate families or dynasties, some of whose connections are known and some unknown. Iyengar states we have a certain number of charters in Prakrit of which three are important ones. Then follows a dynasty which issued their charters in Sanskrit. Following this came the family of the great Pallavas beginning with Simha Vishnu. This was followed by a dynasty of the usurper Nandi Varman, another great Pallava. We are overlooking for the present the dynasty of the Ganga Pallavas postulated by the epigraphists. The earliest of these Pallava charters is the one known as the Maidavalu one Gunter district copper plates. Based on a combination of dynastic plates and grants from the period, Iyengar proposed their rule thus. <laughs> Early Pallavas Bapadevan married a Naga of Mavilanga Kanchi, the great founder of a Pallava lineage Shivaskandavarman I Simavarman Buddhavarman Budinkoran Middle Pallavas Visnugopa 340 to 355 Yuva Maharaja Vishnugopa Kumara Visnu the 1st 355 to 370 Skanda Varman the 2nd 370 to 385 Vira Varman 385 to 400 Skanda Varman the 3rd 400 to 435 Simha Varman the 2nd 435 to 460 Skanda Varman the 4th 460 to 480 Nandi Varman the 1st 480 to 500 Kumaravisnu the 2nd c 500 to 510 Buddha Varman c 510 to 520 Kumaravisnu the 3rd c 520 to 530 Simha Varman the 3rd c 530 to 537 Topic. Later Pallavas Simha Vishnu 537 to 570 Mahendravarman the 1st 571 to 630 Narasimhavarman the 1st Mamala 630 to 668 Mahendravarman the 2nd 668 to 672 Paramasvaravarman the 1st 672 to 700 Narasimhavarman the 2nd Raja Simha 700 to 727 Paramasvaravarman the 2nd 705 to 710 Topic Later Pallavas of the Kadava line Nandivarman the 2nd Pallavamala 732 to 796 son of Haranyavarman of Kadavakula Dantavarman 775 to 825 Nandivarman the 3rd 825 to 869 Nirapathangan 869 to 882 Aparahitavarman 882 to 896 Topic Genealogy The genealogy of Pallavas mentioned in the Mamalapuram Prasasti is as follows Vishnu Brahma Unknown, undecipherable Unknown, undecipherable Bharadvaja Drona Ashvatthaman Pallava Unknown, undecipherable Unknown, undecipherable Simavarman I c. Unknown, undecipherable 
unknown, undecipherable. Simavarman IV, 436 c. 460 Unknown, undecipherable, Unknown, undecipherable, Skandashisha, Unknown, undecipherable, Unknown, undecipherable, Simhavisnu, c. 550 to 585, Mahendravarman the first, c. 571 to 630. Maha Mala Narasimhavarman the first, 630 to 668. Unknown, undecipherable. Paramasvaravarman the first, 669 to 690. Rajasimha Narasimhavaram II, 690 to 728. Unknown, undecipherable. Pallavamala Nandavarman the second, 731 to 796. Unknown, undecipherable. Nandivarman the third, eight hundred forty six to sixty nine. Topic Other relationships Pallava royal lineages were influential in the old kingdom of Kedah of the Malay Peninsula under Rudravarman I, Champa under Bhadravarman I, and the kingdom of the Funan in Cambodia. See also List of Tamil monarchs Kadava dynasty equals equals notes <laughs>